final notice to Lara Croft, a current tenant of premises. This is to serve as your final notice for the purposes of terminating your ownership of Croft Manor. You are required to immediately vacate and surrender possession of said manor to Atlas de Mornay, executor of estates. Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter, but so be it. As you know, your parents appointed me executor of the estate in the event of their absence. Since your mother disappeared, her death was never technically declared. And given the circumstances surrounding your father's death, it's no surprise that he never drafted a formal last will and testament to account for this circumstance. Unfortunately, you have no legal claims to the estate. I'm willing to negotiate a modest monthly stipend from your trust, but only if you leave the manor by week's end. Don't fight me on this, Lara. Your mother wouldn't want that. Sincerely, Atlas. There has to be a will or some kind of evidence of what happened to Mum in the manor somewhere. Hmm, needs a combination. It's got to be in Dad's papers somewhere. Dad's safe. My birthday crown. <laughs> I was so proud of that thing. <laughs> That's my handwriting. My penmanship was pretty good. Well, this is a hell of a thing. I met someone tonight quite unexpectedly. But it shouldn't have been, it seems. I've been so buried in my work, so distracted by my latest revelations, I never bothered to notice my surroundings. But there she was, sitting at my table in the library. Her name... My parents made a good team, challenging each other from the start. Dad would have liked me to go to Oxford, but I insisted on UCL. <laughs> yep, looks real. Roth once offered to forge me a fake diploma to show Dad. A picture with Dad and Anna. Never liked wearing dresses. But the color was nice. This is probably my grandfather, Benjamin. One of dad's Yoruba masks, a gift from a friend he met on an expedition in Nigeria. Dad's map of the forgotten cities of northern Syria. He was closer than he knew to finding the Prophet's tomb. Dad's book about immortality myths might be useful in my research. I finally introduced Richard to the family. It went precisely how I imagined. I see but polite grace from mother, indifference and disinterest. It must have been hard for mum to go against her family's wishes. I'm glad she did. The door to the library. Locked. Hmm. There's got to be another way through. <laughs> this is the map I made for my first expedition with Dad. It shows a path to the library through the servants' passages. Wait, I can get to the library through the old servants' corridor. Dad's artifacts from the Nile Valley. I always love looking at these. Dad became interested in immortality myths after his expeditions to Egypt. Too dark. Going to need a flashlight. Ah. 
Hi, Dad. I've been thinking about Mum lately. I wish I knew more about her. How did you meet? What was she like? Winston told me that she was a Lara, I've reviewed the report from your therapist. I have to say I was surprised to see a clean bill of health. I somehow doubt you've so easily abandoned your irrational claims. Indeed, where have you been the... <laughs> well, hello there, Sir Lancelot. Don't worry, you won't be boring your sword this time. The Grand Hall. Always loved playing in here as a kid. This will be one of the first things to fix. A phoenix figurine. I bet this appealed to Dad's idea of immortality, of rising from the ashes and being born anew. This belongs to Anna. Most of her belongings are in the guest house. What was she doing in here? <laughs> Someone has a sense of humor. Ah! Lara, you know the West Wing is off limits. I'm sorry, I... We've been through this. Was Mum's room in here? Just stay out of there, darling. Dad was always so protective of the West Wing. Locked. Need a key to open this. What are you doing sitting there on the floor, Mistress Lara? Looking at the compass, thinking. What about, if I may inquire? Just thinking about discovering faraway places, about finding adventure. <laughs> I'm sure you will, my lady. You've the soul of an explorer. But don't grow up too fast. The offer came in the post last week. And I still haven't told Richard. He flew ahead to Tibet, where I will meet him shortly. I never told him I was submitting my work. Never thought there was a chance of being accepted. Lara, since your return from your expedition to Yamatai, I've grown increasingly alarmed at your erratic behaviour. I can only assume you suffered some kind of psychological trauma and are only acting out as a call for help. Got to remember to pack this for my next trip. Should be able to explore the dark now. Hey Jonah, sorry for not getting back to you sooner. I've decided to do some research at the manor. A lot has happened and I need some time to think about what I want to do next. Another one of Dad's immortality artifacts. I think Roth bought this for him from a trader in Greece.
not sure I really need to brush up on my ancestors one of these days. Amelia, the news has reached Mother. She knows that you broke off your engagement with the Earl of Farringdon. She is beside herself with worry. But, for the moment, she's... <sighs> Falling apart. Maybe I should just let my uncle have this place. They say a good test of a relationship is how well you travel together. Well, I'd say Amelia and I have passed that test with flying colors. Indeed, these last few... I'm not surprised he asked her to marry him as soon as he got the idea. Amelia, I know we have had our differences in recent years. I've tried my best to keep an open mind about your relationship with Richard, but I just can't let you... Still just as creepy as I remember. My lord, I hope this missive finds you on a successful expedition and in good health. Before I bore you with estate affairs, I wanted to let you know that our little angel has been into some mischief. As always, I indulged her in our... Poor Winston. I remember being so angry. He was always so patient with me. King to Queen One. I'm going to win this time, Winston. <laughs> Clever girl. But you should know by now, winning isn't everything. Queen to King's Bishop Six. Check. Easy for you to say. You always win. Knight takes Queen. What I mean to say is try to enjoy the journey, Lara. Don't rush to victory. Bishop to King Seven. I know, Winston. I just want... Oh no! I didn't even see that! You should also know by now, I'm not to be trifled with on this board, young lady. Mate! Oh! I am going to win. Someday. I would play chess with our old butler Winston on this board. Never could beat him. I always chose white. Maybe if I let him go first once in a while, I might have won. I'm at a crossroads now. Good lord, that's such a cliché. But there's truth in it. Two roads before me. Both present joy and compromise. A life with Richard... Everything is almost ready for Mistress Lara's birthday expedition surprise. It's been a bit of an all-hands-on-deck effort organizing the affair and keeping it secret. She's upset.
cat loved a good bottle of wine. Hmm, I can still smell his favorite Bordeaux. Dad, this is it! The basement of despair! Indeed, Lara. Muster your courage, for this is the only path to the Library of Infinite Knowledge. Look there! See the string? An ancient Egyptian tripwire. The Keepers of Knowledge want none to disturb their treasures. We must tread carefully. Let me lead. I know how to spot all the traps. I'm sure you do, my darling. Lead on! One of the wire traps Winston made for my birthday expedition. <laughs> Winston used my hair ribbons to make this. He and Dad put a lot of work into this birthday surprise. Hmm, water damage from the main hall above. My stuffed bear. I couldn't have a tomb without a mummy. This bust of Anubis was from Dad's Egyptian collection. He must have put it down in the basement for our little expedition. to the manor. Dad used to say his granny hated all the bright lights. Hmm, there's a missing page. Amelia left tonight. She packed her suitcase and walked right out of here and I didn't even notice. Like those days in the Oxford Library before we even met, I just had my nose in a book lost in my... ledger has to be in here somewhere. Hopefully it has the combination to the safe. I've created a clever little map for Lara's birthday expedition. I used the invisible ink Amelia picked up for me in Morocco so many years ago. At the time, I remember... I always accepted that Richard's rather unorthodox research was just something I had to live with. But... but this time, the thrill of discovery has taken hold of me. This music is familiar. It's beautiful. It appears Sir Reginald's helmet fell off. Or didn't I put it back properly?
For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by Amelia. The day of our wedding anniversary. Okay, got to find those objects to figure out the combination to the safe. There's something else here. I've reached the monastery. As Roth predicted, it was hidden deep in the Himalayas. And now that I'm standing on these high stone walls, I am overwhelmed by the sheer beauty of the mountains that surround them. Hmm, Dad was looking for an elixir. Was it the elixir of life? Dad's lighter. I don't remember him ever using it, though. The Croft family crest and initials. P.C. I wonder if this belonged to my grandfather. Okay. Should be able to light the fireplace now. This is my handiwork. I used to love drawing pictures of tigers. Spent so many hours in here, reading, dreaming of my own adventures. One of Winston's notes. He always hid sweets for me to find. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Now, let me see, let me see. These two myths are referencing the same source material. But where did I see this image? Dad, I think it's this one, in the chapter on Egyptian districts. Why, yes, I think you're right, Lara. I remember the page with the illustration of Ra. My goodness, you've been paying attention, haven't you? This could be an important breakthrough. Does this mean I'm your research assistant? That and more, my darling girl. Takes me back. Those were good times. The best times. This was always one of my favorite books in this library. I used to trace hieroglyphs. This picture was taken in the library. Eighteen twenty additions to the main hall in progress. Hmm. Quite a tumble off of this old thing when I was a girl. Still feel it in the shoulder from time to time.
Hmm. Blank, except for the image of a key. I remember this map now. It leads to the master key. But we made it with a special kind of invisible ink. It could only be seen with the heat of a fire. Hmm. I think I stashed one of Winston's master keys in here when I was a kid. I can see the map. Looks like the key is hidden under a trunk near the bookcase. X marks the spot, as they say. The master key. This should get me into the West Wing. All right, this should open most rooms in the manor, including the Forbidden West Wing. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six? Eight? Hmm. I think this hieroglyph corresponds to a number. But which one? Okay. Dad's clues mention Mum's paintings and their anniversary. Hopefully I can find some answers in the West Wing. Family crest. With Amelia gone, the manor is a different place. A dimness pervades, a quiet I can't stand. Even though Lara is too young to understand what has happened, she also senses the change. She's asked after her... I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the purity and... Amelia would not have approved. That alone should have been the end of it. But I am, as God made me, a stubborn fool. I locked all the West Wing's doors. At least that old thing still works.
I am bursting with pride. Amelia is with child. It is amazing how everything in life can change with such a simple event. Obviously, we don't know. Dad may have discovered the secret to immortality without even knowing it. Mum's wedding ring. I always wondered what happened to it. The inscription is faded. My mother's perfume. The smell. So familiar. I can almost remember her. I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. October 13th. Mum's birthday. Hmm, pretty sure my parents were married in October. I think it was close to her birthday. <laughs> Mum on her wedding day. She looks so beautiful. There's a date. October something. Damn, the number is faded. Their anniversary was in October. But which day? Oh, I can't believe I don't know this. There's got to be another clue somewhere. This is Dad. I suppose it's a family tradition, but I can't imagine having one of these made of me. After everything Atlas has done... I think this was Dad's pocket watch. Hmm, looks like it stopped precisely at midnight. How could you tell him about the expedition? It's just all been too much. I needed to talk to someone. He's still my brother. I don't trust him. You don't have to, Richard. But please, trust me. I'm sorry, my dear, but I know him. He'll take it to the papers. The investors will pull out. Then go. Without me. Tonight. I will take care of Atlas. And then meet you in Tibet next week. I was so young, but I still remember that terrible argument. It wasn't always an easy road for my parents. My lord, we all hope your work was well received at the conference and look forward to your return. As is so often the case with these missives, I wanted to call your attention to an instant. Mum's atelier. Dad sealed it soon after she died. He probably couldn't bear the idea of removing any of her belongings. Untouched for years, exactly as she left it. I stood up to my family's criticism, stood in defense of Richard and our love. But as my new life began in Croft Manor, doubt set in. Mum's paintings, which one was Dad's favorite? I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say, I returned to my family's home. Hmm, blocks of red. Dad's favorite painting. Maybe something about that painting will help me figure out the combination. Okay, back to the study to open that safe. I don't have any memory of this. I wish I could remember doing this. Mom died too young. Mum with me as a baby. I've never seen this. Hard to believe I was ever that small. You've almost got it, darling. Here, let me show you. Like this, see? <laughs> well done, Lara. Well done. 
I wonder how my life would have been different had she lived. This was for a show in London of Mum's work. What I wouldn't give to see this today. Hmm. It says here, Amelia Croft plans to show her work in New York. I wonder what happened with that. Lara arrived tonight, though not without a bit of drama, but all is well. She's a healthy, beautiful baby. I've never seen Richard so happy. I'm sure he'll be celebrating with his... I'm glad I still have so much of Mum's work. Mistress Lara, I took the liberty of preparing a tray, as dinner did not go according to plans. I've included, in addition to your meal, a few treats. I would appreciate it if you kept this between us, but I felt tonight called for something special. Dad, what do you keep in there? Nothing too important, Lara. Estate business and such. If it's not important, then why bother putting it in a safe? I should know better than to try and pull one over on you. <laughs> there is something important in here. And it's for you, should you need it someday. Well, let's hope you came through for me, Dad. Okay, found all the clues. Let's see if I can figure this out. That will happen. It makes me happy to know that Dad kept this safe. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I am numb. It is taking all my willpower to hold back the overwhelming grief. Amelia's plane crashed in the- Dad, what did you do? Dad's sequel to his first book on immortality. He never got a chance to publish it. Handwritten. This is the only copy. Damn, this isn't it either. I was certain there had to be a will in here. Wait, what's that? Hmm, a blank page. Dad must have left this for me. It has to be important. A 
hidden message. What are these strange marks? They have to be some kind of clue. Let's open the secret door from the inside. Hope I'm not trapped in here. Did Dad build all of this just to keep his research safe? The missing page from the renovation plans. They didn't want anyone outside the family knowing about this crypt. It's over. I have done all that I could, and my Amelia is still cold and dead. Roth first scowled at my designs. You brought her home. She's here, somewhere. This was part of a set of statues Dad found in China. He thought it was linked to the Temple of Xi'an. Perhaps I should look into it someday. Richard, I tried to see you in person last week, but your manservant hustled me away like some common tout peddling silverware. He told me you are heartbroken and you're not yet ready to see visitors. He told me you blame yourself for your loss. Well, to that, I say, you had... Dad's collected knowledge. There must be so many secrets hidden in here. Might be able to use this to access other parts of the manor. It is silent, so peacefully silent now. Even after the madness and chaos of the crash, I... Mum faced death alone. She was so brave. Dad's Tibetan scroll. I remember he used to pour over this late into the night. The renovations are proceeding in secret. The work crew Roth hired for the job have been paid handsomely to keep the details of the job out of the records, so I'm fairly... Amazing. Even in here, Dad went out of his way to hide his findings. There's an inscription. This is the Croft universe. Our knowledge is to the east, our respite to the west. Our future is to the south, our past is to the north. Our past to the north. Could there be something else beneath the manor?
Hi, Dad. So I know I only just returned to school, but when can I come out to the dig site again? It's just so boring here. We're doing all the stuff I already read last summer. Lord Croft is resolved to seal the west wing of the manor. I try to talk sense into him, but he will not be swayed. And to make matters worse, I believe his experiences in Tibet have... South, our past is to the north. expected a sort of crushing finality to grip me when we returned to the manor to lay Amelia to rest. Indeed, once the last of my... My great-grandmother Rose, nicknamed the Golden Rose for her perfect reputation. I wonder what she would have thought of me. My God, can it be? Dad, you did bring her home. My dearest Lara, it is difficult to write this, knowing these may only ever be words on a page to you. You will remember my voice. Will you remember the way we used to play and laugh? Will you remember me comforting you when you were sad? Know that I'm still with you, Lara. My energy, my love. It's within you. It always will be. Use that energy to pursue your passions in life. Never let others determine your journey. You become who you are through your choices, through the love you give and the promises you keep. I hope you are happy, that you are loved and successful in whatever it is you choose to do. I am proud of you, my darling. Remember me with all my love, your mother.
Hmm, what's this? A letter. Lara. I have received the notarized affidavit confirming Amelia's grave and the discovery of the burial crypt within the manor premises. While I can't fathom why your father would hide your mother's fate from her own family, I cannot deny that any legal claims I may have had on the estate are not. I've been so focused on defying my uncle, of fighting to keep his hands off this manor, that I never realized how much this place actually means to me. But since I've been here, I can feel the presence of my mother and father. I sense the entire history of my family and the deep roots we have in this place. I want to honor my parents. I want to honor all of my ancestors. The Croft family may be all but destroyed, but I will make our name and our home great again. The broken sword I brought back from Yamatai. The Atlas, such an amazing piece of craftsmanship. Sophia insisted I take it home with me. I can still remember the last time I fired these. 